So welcome to another episode of Nerdsween and a Movie Podcast. This is a wrestling, Nerdsween wrestling prediction special live on Junkie. If you're watching this on the replay uh, on YouTube, make sure you give a follow to me and everywhere, especially over on Junkie. If you see the little QR code right to the side here, scan that. It'll take you everywhere. So you can follow, follow everything Nerdsween, among other things. If you see me looking weird and looking up, I have a new setup with an extra monitor, so I might be looking up to check the chat, um, as well as you know going back and forth from everything. So I know it's probably going to look weird. Um, i got to figure out the most... Uh, this is the first time I have the extra screen. Um, but we're going to be talking about NXT Deadline. So this is an interesting, um, interesting show today. I really don't know... Um, what to expect i, I kind of feel like this this show there's a lot of ways where you can mess up there's a lot of ways that you can just go with one thought process and it just doesn't come to fruition um and you can see why so we're going to we're going to take a stab at some of these i don't know how many of these i'm going to get right my current record with WWE premium live events is 16 and 8 uh, i took a beating in the last uh show so Let's see if we can maybe right the ship with NXT Deadline uh, that is streaming at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7th uh, for the pre-show where one of the matches will be held that we will talk about. Uh, so if you have Peacock, go ahead and give it a watch. Uh, we'll be doing a review special as part of my uh, podcast uh, this weekend, um, along with a uh, summary of wrestling of the week and current uh, happenings and things that I'm looking forward to. So um, if you're interested in multi-fandom content, Nerd Tween and Movie Podcast, again, that's just right there in the QR code. Uh, but let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right. So the first match is going to be on the pre-show. It is going to be Axiom versus Nathan Fraser. Now, these two are really interesting. Fraser is one of the fastest competitors I've ever seen in my life. The way he moves, it's insane. He even modeled his um, whole ring attire after the Flash. Um, and Axiom is really talented. Uh, I These two were former allies, then rivals, and now friendly rivals. Uh, so this should be like a kind of like... I would say friendly bout of epic persuasion. I could totally see this being a really, really good match. Um, I think with the uh, Lucha Libre style and the strength of Axiom, he gives a really good counter to Nathan Fraser's speed. Um, not that Fraser isn't strong, but I mean, it's. Axiom is more of a high flying power game where Nathan Fraser is, is fast and high flying. Um, this is going to be all over the place. There are going to be spots that you're going to freak out about. Um, I think, I think I'm going to go uh, with Nathan Nathan Fraser um, only because I think they're grooming him to step into the North NXT North American uh, Championship race, where I feel like Axiom would have a much faster route to the quote unquote main roster. Um, on SmackDown uh, specifically, um, unless they wanted to diversify and have, because um, you could throw him on on Raw and have him beef with Dominic. You know, Axiom is talented enough. He's a he's like a Dragon Lee light. Like Dragon Lee was so good that he didn't even have to do his entire year in NXT like they planned. Axiom, um, like he, he, he go watch the uh, last year's Iron Survivor um, match with Axiom. In that he was absolutely tearing it up, and I, I look forward to seeing this match. Uh, it was a very good match to have on the pre-show. I'm gonna go. Nathan Frazier gets the win. Speed over uh, high flying. Um, we've got. I definitely think we're gonna go Nathan Frazier with this, but I could see it going either way. All right. Now I don't know the official um, like match card because I can never seem to find it. So I'm gonna go on what I think would be the way to go. Um, to start off the night, because they did say this on, on NXT the other night, that um, Carmelo Hayes uh, was going to start the show and Trick was going to end it. So I'm going to go with this is the first match. We've got um, uh, Le <laughs> Lexus King versus my main man. Um, Melo, don't miss. Uh, I, this, is, this is interesting because... Uh, they really are trying to push 
Lexus King, um, probably because they made a significant investment in you know his, the lineage Brian Pillman's uh, son, which he doesn't want to be. That's why he's going by Lexus King. Um, I like his presentation. I really like the the um, the throne being like rolled out in NXT. I see him being in NXT for a while as the main bad on NXT. There's some of these NXT stars that are going to end up being on main roster very soon, such as Carmelo Hayes. So I think we get a um, a Lexus King victory here. Um, he may even do something cheap, but I, I think it's going to be a really good match. These two guys are, are pretty talented. I mean, Melo is one of the most talented people on the entire roster, in my opinion. He may not have all the, you know, the the seasoning of, you know, a lot of the maybe competitors that are on the main roster. But if you talk about physical ability and what he can do, he's up there with Montez Ford. Like, those two are, are very similar um, in, in, like, abilities. They're both strong. Both can fly. Both are fast. But they're also very technical. Um but they both have that high impact offense, uh, and I I don't see why what what is keeping Melo and a few other people that we'll talk about later in NXT. I feel like if they want to make NXT the true developmental brand, it's time for these dudes to get promoted because Melo don't miss. I met Melo was a great champion. He's gone up against like he has like banger after banger with every single big star in NXT that's come and gone in the last what two years. I mean, he's definitely done all he can do in NXT. He needs to be promote. He needs to get to SmackDown. Or I actually was when mind seeing him on Raw, so he can go up against Ricochet a couple of times. Maybe even form a tag. Can you imagine a tag team with Ricochet and and Carmelo Hayes? Whoo! The Ricochets don't miss. Oh, yo, yo, yo! I'm cooking. Um, I, I, I mean, I think I love I love Carmelo Hayes, so I I don't want to say this, but I think I'm going, I'm going Lexus King. I think Lexus King, uh, needs a a big um match win, even if it's n- by nefarious ways. Like even if he cheats and somehow wins, uh, I think this is a big would be a big big feather in his cap. Um, and I, I said Melo's got to be on his way out of NXT soon, so. Uh, I think as someone who just got to NXT, I don't see them promoting Lexus King. As he, he's looked really good in his matches, um, but I think he's got a lot to work on. I think he can do well from a year or two, maybe even um, in NXT before he gets anywhere near the the main roster like like Carmelo Hayes has. Um, Carmelo Hayes was the NXT champion until recently and was consistently, he was consistently in the NXT championship and in North American NXT champ. Like he made the NXT North American championship. Like, and he dethroned, um, I think it was breaker who was a monster. You know, there's a lot of things that he's done in NXT that just can't be matched. And he needs to be rewarded for that. Um, but he's not going to be rewarded with a win here. Uh, opening up the night with Lexus King getting the W against Carmelo Hayes. Next up, we have the Ladies Iron Survivor Challenge. Uh, we've got Fallon Henley. Uh, my, I'm a mess. I should have wrote these names down. Holy crap! Tiffany Stratton, uh, Lash Legend, uh, Blair Davenport, and the youngster, uh, and the rookie. Ah, uh, damn! I feel bad. I can't remember her name. Um, I need to have been more prepared for this. I just. Didn't have it, but um, this is this is an interesting one because I see uh two baby faces and three heels. So you would think that the the odds would be on the heels winning, and you know Tiffany Stratton being as good as she is, I mean she should absolutely uh be the favorite here. I mean, she's been NXT women's champion already. Like she's, she went to war with Becky Lynch, the man, Becky Lynch. Like, and and look good, even in defeat. So, you know, you got looking at me, I'm saying I, the favorite has to be Tiffany Stratton, but I mean, with the buildup as they've been doing, I mean, how do you have a spot where Lash legend Straight up body slams Otis, which is a feat that not all men can do on the roster. 
and be that awesome in that promo session when they had them all out um, with, um, damn, I'm just drawing blanks all over the place. <sighs> um, when they did the whole segment uh, where Tiffany was was talking shit and Hallen, Fallon just freaking smacked the shit out of her and started a whole brawl, um, I, I'm I'm definitely I'm going. My heart says uh, 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 Lash Legend, but I bet you Tiffany Stratton wins this. Uh, to have a Valkyria feud, which is something that I, I really feel. Um, if you don't have Tiffany Stratton, who is your arguably your best woman's athlete, like 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 star besides Roxanne, per- like you can't have Roxanne Perez, Tiffany Stratton, um, and and, and like where where where's your women's division like there's no secondary women's title so it's not like with AEW where they have the AEW women's world title and then the TBS championship no 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 it's the NXT women's championship or nothing they don't even have a tag team championships down there you know what i mean so i mean when you look at it like that i mean if you don't have both Tiffany Stratton and Roxanne Perez in the the title hunt then whoever's champion does not look like they're getting much much to work with. You know, I mean, Lash Legend is who should win this match. Um, but I, if they're smart, they'll do Tiffany so Tiffany can get in, in a feud with Lyra Valkyria. Um, at, at this point, there's no one else in this match that has any real storylines that require them to win um Fallon I could see you know winning only because she's been beefing with Tiffany Stratton you know I could see them trying to instead of putting Stratton back in the title picture having it be Fallon and Tiffany battling out for a while and then she somehow gets a number one contender shot you know um and then Lash Legend gets in there but I I definitely think uh Lash should win but I'm gonna go Tiffany Stratton I I have to I don't think there's any debate on uh on who should win, and that's why I think they're going to go that route. Um, I, I Lash is the one that should win, though, in my opinion. The one I want to win is Lash Legend. I didn't believe in Lash between that that body slam and when and that promo. She got me. She she she's she's good to go. I I, I she's ready for a, a main event NXT Women's Championship match. I, I truly believe that. I I truly believe that. Um. All right, so let's go ahead and go move right along. Next up, we have the North American champion, Dirty Dominic Mysterio, versus the future of Lucha Libre, Dragon Lee, who will also have Rey Mysterio Sr., Dominic's father, in his corner, which is not a good idea because, A, you just got off of surgery, and who has crossed uh, a mutual friend of Dominique? Santos Escobar is not happy with Dragon Lee. He's also not happy with Rey Mysterio. You think, I mean, he could easily show up, and you think, I bet you that uh, M- Mommy should be there. Is my, I mean, if Mommy's not there and he defends and beats Dragon Lee, which I would uh, assume that he would, um, that would be really good for Dominic, because Dominic is underrated. I mean, he's grown so much as a as a in ring performer. He's truly something special um, between the rings now, which is between the ropes now, which is kind of weird for me saying, because um, he's put in the work, um, and I, I think you don't promote. Dragon Lee to the SmackDown roster only to have him win the NXT championship unless you're you're going to have him win it so that Dom can beat him back for it on SmackDown. Where the um damage con- damage control, the uh, judgment day can assist him. That would be a nice little thing. I mean, Dom's already done that. I mean, he lost it. Um, who did he lose it to? Oh, to to trick, and then like the very next night won it back. 
you know, so they could definitely go that route here. And I would actually like to see that. Um, but I, man, so my official pick is going to be Dominic retains, but what I'm going to say is if re is there, he 100% retains, but I get, there is one weird angle I can see where Dominic gets so involved with Ray that Lee steals the win, which I would prefer. But I definitely think Dominic Mysterio retains the North American title here. I mean, Wesley would have been, I would have gone Wesley all the way, 100%. Um, but with this change the last second, I feel like this is just more um, as a feud. Um, he, I mean, he, he was just in the North American, the, the U S, um, uh, the U S title, um, tournament. So I, I think there's bigger things already planned for, for Dominic and for Dragon Lee, but I feel like Dominic keeps this title here. I don't, there's no reason to take it off him now that Wesley, um, it isn't, uh, in, in play anymore. Um, I can see him holding this for quite some time and being one of the record longest NXT North American championships. I could even see them deciding to merge it with the um, uh, United States Championship, um, which is something I thought they were going to do with Ray and him at WrestleMania type. Well, something like that could be interesting. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna go Dominic. I mean, you got Dirty Dom's got to cheat his way to win somehow, right? Um, it's going to be a great match, and Dragon Lee probably should win, but let's go with the heel and uh, Dominic Mysterio uh, main retaining his NXT North American Championship. All right, this is a good one. We've got Roxanne Perez versus, oh, my God, I'm drawing a blank again. Uh, um, okay, so that's Kiana James. Okay, cool. Remember, now I got Kiana James. Um Kalani Jordan, I apologize uh, when I was talking about the um, Iron Survivor women's match. I could not remember Kalani Jordan's name because she is her first year in the in NXT. My apologies. Kalani Jordan is going to probably have a really – it's going to be a breakout performance, but she's down to see them giving her the championship. But right now we're going to talk about Roxanne Perez and Kiana James. These two have been fighting, and I mean they've been fighting – They've had matches, they've had backstage brawls, they had a fight in medical uh, where they're both getting taped up, um, and then now we have um, this interesting little scenario where we've got a steel cage match um, where it, probably right dab in the middle of this, paper, uh, this premium live event. Um, hold on. And we got this nice little thing where Ava Ava Rain seems to be coming more of like a, a, a authority figure and a um, almost like a GM because she fixed up this match um, to be in a steel cage. And then she also apparently hooked up um, Carmelo Hayes with the Lexus King match. So uh, who knows? That could be an interesting thing. She could be like, I don't know if maybe they didn't like um, either her or the, the – um, NXT, whatever, whoever it was or, or whatever happened, maybe they didn't think that in-ring was the way to go, and they thought, hey, let's make her uh, a manager slash uh, negotiator, you know, something like that. I mean, it looks like that would be a great role for her um, moving forward, but uh, Roxanne and Keanu James have been really going at it for quite some time now. Um, I, I feel like there is that Roxanne Perez has to win this. She in a steel cage. I feel like she's more. She's been in more matches like that, where there's weapons and 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 big spots and and bumps all around. I don't know if Kiana James is 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 up there for that yet. But I mean, I would love to be wrong. This could be the sneaky match of the night uh, if done right. I mean, it's a steel cage match, so I mean. This should be pretty. This should be the most second most violent uh, uh, thing on the program because anything with Elia Dragon off and it will be the most violent one, um, which will be the main event. Uh, but I mean, I got I got Roxanne Perez uh, winning here over Kiana James. I I don't think a win does either of them any good. It doesn't really help the storyline. Doesn't really 
you know, push either one of them into the main event. They, they neither one of them would be close to the number one contender for the the NXT Women's Championship right now because whoever wins the Iron Survivor Challenge is the number one contender, and then you have um someone whoever who, um damn I'm drawing blank on all these names um they. There's also a number one contender, like a guaranteed, almost like a money in the bank type situation uh, for the NXT Women's Championship. So I I feel like at this point, you're going to want to give the fans something they'd like to see. You have Roxanne Perez pull off a crazy bout, a crazy um, bump, probably looking at doing like a, a code red. Um, off of a, off the, oh man, can you imagine they did something off the cage, like a Rikishi moment? Oh my God, that'd be insane. Um, I think this, uh, this right here is probably the, the match that ends this little beef one way or the other. Um, and that's why I think, uh, you, you give it to, um, Roxanne Perez here. I mean, she's the, 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 you're one of your biggest baby faces on, on your roster. Uh, you want to give them, give her a win there. Uh, for sure, uh, and especially that she's been she's done matches like this, so I, I think the experience also is a benefit to Roxanne over Kiana James. Um, but yeah, we're definitely gonna have to go with uh, Roxanne Perez there. And then next up, we have what won't be. I mean, I don't think it should be the last match of the night if you have a your main title as the is up for grabs as well. Um, but this is a great match. We've got Dijak, Trick Williams, Josh Briggs, Braun Breaker, and Tyler Bates. All right. Anyone who's ever watched any of my, my breakdowns knows how much I love Tyler Bate, the big strong boy. Um, uh, I feel like he's due, uh, not like owed, but he's due for a big win like this. He was the, uh, last chance entry. Um, I don't know... If Trick is ready for an uh, NXT championship, Breaker again, another one of those play- people who, what is he still doing in NXT? I mean, he he carried the 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 main championship for two years and has been just mowing through people ever since. Send him up to to SmackDown and have him be um, Judgment, uh, uh, or no, have him go to Raw and and have Paul Heyman manage him on Raw. And have him go after CM Punk when he signs for Raw. You know what I mean? Like, it's time to get both Braun and um, Carmelo Hayes out of NXT and, and up. Um, and honestly, Dijek should be promoted too. I mean, I think he's got these... Like, every match he puts on with a smaller competitor is um, is has been match of the year candidates. Like, he has cl- absolute classics with Carmelo Hayes, Wes Lee. Uh, I mean, oh, God, him and... Um, uh, Keith Lee before before he was even Dijek, um, when he was Dijakovic. I mean, this guy's been around forever, and he's had to reinvent himself so many times, and he just does great matches. I mean, the match he had with Ilya early in the year, insane. Um, and Briggs is, is is someone that really surprised me that he was entered into the even to the qualifiers, and he showed out. I am definitely a fan of his. I don't know if this is his shot, but I think he's going to do well here. The thing is, if you look at this match, you've got Dijek, uh, Briggs, and Brown Breaker, who are these big, huge, strong dudes. And then you've got um, Trick, who's kind of an in-betweener. He's he's big and he's strong, but he's also fast and nimble. you got Bait, uh, sorry, Bait, um, the big, strong boy who... We'll probably have a few spots where he's lifting up one or at least one of these big old people. I bet you he does a double suplex on on Briggs and Dijek. I don't. I got. I, I see that in my mind. Um, but this is probably going to be my favorite match of the night. Uh, it, it may not be the best, um, but it's in, in my opinion, it's probably going to be the my most entertaining of the night. Um, when you've got talent like this, I mean, Dijek is a seasoned veteran. Braun is one of the best you have on the entire NXT roster. Bate has been a champion all over the world. He was one a uh, UK NXT champion. Briggs an up and comer who has a Undertaker American badass 
side to him, not like the allure, but like just the the feel of like the way he moves reminds me of a of that version of the Undertaker. Um, and then Trick is just so over. I mean, I feel like what needs to happen is, as I said, Dominic retains and he and Trick goes back and gets his North American title back. I think that should be where they go with that. But who's going to win the Iron Survivor? Now, the Iron Survivor is really an interesting uh, concept. So the way this works is there's a penalty box. I mean, there's a whole bunch of crazy rules. But the thing that the most they need to know is there's a time limit and the most pinfall win. When you get a pinfall on someone, they have to go into the penalty box. So they can't be getting um, pins while they're in the penalty box, obviously. Uh, so I think, oh, man, I, I because it's Ilya and because I'm 100% certain that Ilya is going to retain against um, uh, uh, Baron Corbin, um, man. I don't know. Could you imagine if Baron Corbin wins tonight and met and, and and oh man, that'd be insane. See, I I would I would bet that Baron Corbin loses but injures Ilya in the process, um, which will lead to him either having to relinquish the NXT Championship or being on the shelf for a little while. Um, I I don't know, but. You know what? I'm going out on a limb here. I don't know how why I'm doing this, but I'm going. I, you know what? No, I'm gonna go with my heart. I'm gonna say the big strong boy Tyler Bate somehow pulls off this upset because he was the last one in and he is the smallest competitor in this match. I'm going with the little guy. I got Tyler, big strong boy. Um, I'm sure I'm wrong on this. It's probably going to be, uh, 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 I would hope Braun Breaker or, or Mello, but yeah, we're going to, or I see, I would think that what's the way that they strapped a rocket to Briggs, I think it could be Briggs. Um, it would be nice to see someone like that win. he's a young kid, he's really hungry. It'd be really interesting. Um, he's like, like I said, he's like a American badass light, um, I mean, he's very like they, they, he's booked as kind of this country, you know. He he, you I could see him hopping on a Harley and driving down to the ring, um, or a tractor maybe. Yeah, that might be my more um, fitting. Um, but I I think, man, damn, yeah, I'm gonna st- I'm gonna stick with bait. I, I think that's the wrong pick here, but I. I I, I like I would rather be right and st- and stuck with my my the pick I wanted uh, than be wrong and pick someone I didn't. Um, wait, no, I'd rather be wrong picking who I wanted to win versus right picking someone I didn't want to win. There we go. <laughs> I, I I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I really don't know what happened there. All right. Moving right along. Next up is going to be the main event. We have the Dragon, Ilya Dragunov versus Baron Corbin. Now, I absolutely adore the build up to this match. Corbin throughout this entire build has been kind of acting like he's been toying, messing with Ilya's head and Ilya was going to get enraged and he was going to mess up and, and a whole bunch of things played it perfectly. But just when you think he was about to snap this week on NXT, he looked at him so calmly and like it did like the whole Godfather. Like I knew it was you, but was like only the dragon can take out the dragon. And he just stood back not angry, not enraged, and just started laughing. Started laughing in his face. I love this. Ilya is a is one of the best. I I th- another one of those competitors that. What more does he have to? He's finally won the NXT Championship. Wouldn't even be bad if say Baron wins and then Ilya is the secret uh, NXT member who's going to be up for the North uh, the U.S. Championship. Because we still don't know who that is, and, and I, I feel like it, it, it's it got to be either Carmelo Hayes, Braun Breaker, 
or Ilya. Because unless they consider Baron Corbin a um, NXT star, I'm pretty sure they look at him as main roster just in NXT. But either way, I, I mean, I, I don't see Baron Corbin beating Ilya. Ilya Dragunov is, should be the champion for a f- at least a few months. I mean, he's he's had classes with Gunther. Like, go, if you want to see how good this guy is, go look at his match against Gunther. I think it was like two years ago or for the NXT Championship. Dude, Gunther is now the longest reigning Intercontinental Championship of all time. And has had solid, solid or amazing matches for better part of two years now. He had a banger with Ilya. Ilya's ready as well, but I, I think they can have him in NXT for a little while because he's been gone with injury. Um, and you know, I mean, he was he was in NXT when Gunther is, and Gunther has been on the main roster and for long enough to have the record of longest reigning Intercontinental Champion. Uh, so who, who knows what was going to go on there? But I've got Ilya Dragunov winning uh, the NXT. R- R- sorry, I have Ilya Dragunov. Sorry, I hit the buttons everywhere. Uh, retaining the the NXT championship, um, I I don't think they're gonna get. There's gonna be any surprises. Um, not that I can think of, at least. Uh, and and overall, this should be a really, really, really like th- this pay per view is going to rival some of the WWE ones, like the one, like the main roster, like the. Anything not named WrestleMania, Royal Rumble, or SummerSlam, basically. Um, There's nothing but banger matches on this entire card. So if you're not watching NXT because you you, you just don't watch wrestling or don't want to watch another show, I I get that. I I struggle with watching all these shows. Literally, it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, every week. I get it. But... This is a top. You definitely should watch NXT Deadline. I'm going to record uh, Dynamite because uh, there's some fire matches on there as well. I might even have them both on at one point because um, I do have two TVs in my room now. <laughs> um, but overall, I think this is going to be a great uh, PLE. I feel like my record uh, could get destroyed here <laughs> tonight, uh, but we'll see. I do these uh, previews and uh, uh, predictions because I enjoy it. Uh, I don't really, I, if I don't have a great record. I don't care. I just want transparency. I want you to know how good I'm doing. I I could talk for 35, 45 to an hour about this stuff, and why would you want to listen to me if you don't know how good of predictions I'm doing? You know, Why would you listen to a prediction show where the guy sucks unless you just think I'm funny, which is true. I am very funny and funny to look at, funny to be around, and funny all around. Um, but until next time, make sure you follow on all social medias. It's nerd tween everywhere, but Definitely follow on Junkie if you're seeing this now on the replay on YouTube. Make sure you click on the, you hit the little uh, QR code there. We'll show you all the links. Um, and until next time, stay nerdy, my friends. One, two, three, ding, ding, ding.